So are you dating? No, no, I'm with Jimmy. But she doesn't have sex with him. What? It's so weird. Oh, I have to put the needle right oh, here. Oh, come on. I hate this one. Jesus. I'm not Jesus. This is going to be Shannon. I would never say such a thing. No. Oh, God, no. Me? No. Me? I said Gina's place was hot. I never said her place was sad. Don't you dare put words in my mouth. This is my party. How dare you? Mika, you're a sloppy chihuahua. You're never clear. You're wasted all the time. I'm 30 Good days God. sober today, bitch. Stop. You're Stop. acting like it. Stop. Okay, Stop. and there you go. F you, Gina. Okay, so I need everybody down here for a training. I appreciate you guys all helping. Today we're gonna do little tastes for my friends and the team. And so we're doing like little bite size. So I wanna make sure that everybody gets something that's kind of warm. But have fun. I mean, this is just fun. You know everybody pretty much that's gonna be here. And uh, what else? Be your charming selves. Oh, you know I will. No doubt. <laughs> okay, real for real. I know, I know. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? You look so nice, Dad. Yeah. Oh, great. Good to see you. Come in. My parents got divorced when I was in college, and my dad has a handful. He's shutting bars down later than I am. With 20. 25-year-olds. God love him. Can you say hi to Grandpa Gene you? and Diane? Good to see you. Hi, Adeline. Oh, look how cute all of you. Oh, thank you. Diane and I are one digit of numbers apart from each other. He's a lucky man. How are you? Hey, thank you for great. coming. Crew shot minus thing one and thing two. Here's two family. Love you guys. How big is the portion going to be? I want these to be like yes, half sir. of that. Oh, Thank you. Servers on deck. This is so pretty. I know, I like it a lot. Yeah. Oh my god, I love her orange door. That's rad, Ben. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. Where's Shannon? Where's the bell of the ball? So, you know what? I have oh no my god, idea. The backyard is sick. I definitely understand more why she may have made the comment about my home being sad and depressing, considering my home could fit inside of her home. So how are you doing? Good. I'm good. I actually just, right before here, I went to my first AA meeting. That's yeah. awesome. I'm proud of you that you went. Thank you for encouraging me to go. Dr. Moon helps a lot with emotions. Like, I would just be honest and tell him what's going on with you. <laughs> I thought he might get really scared by mine. <laughs> okay, so I have to tell you something that I did, and I feel really bad about it, but I don't want to not tell you. Uh -huh. But I kind of threw you under the bus a little bit. And I was talking to Emily. And we were talking about Gina and how I was being mean to her. And she's like, well, where did you hear about our house? And that it was like, where there was an, a small place in Irvine. And I was like, Shannon, you said it was kind of sad and then Irvine. No, I didn't. You, that was not me. No, I didn't say anything negative about, about it. Shannon came over, she had a few drinks, and then she said, her house is really small and sad. Let's be clear, I'm not a liar. I put my foot in my mouth every day. I did not say that Gina's condominium was sad. She quantified it with, if you say anything, I will deny it till the end. So get your facts straight, Ronwin. I need you to set the record straight. Because I, I didn't say it. I, I didn't. If it comes up at your party, I will say that. Well, it's, clearly it's I got going confused. to. Right, that's what I'm thinking too.
ladies, where we all ready to order? Can we share a pizza? Of course. So that sounds rad. Well, what's the soup situation? Tonight we will have a roasted yeah, fennel puree, dinner. and then we'll also have a green garlic clam chowder. That oh, I would love to try that clam chowder. Excellent. <laughs> uh, may I get the salmon, please? <laughs> Thank you so much. So I met Shannon at Mozambique. Was she nice to you? Yeah, I mean, she was just kind of fun. I remember meeting you. Do you remember what you said to me? You said, I'm the richest bitch you're going to meet in Newport. <laughs> I'm I get it. shocked. <laughs> She's trying to be your friend. She kicked me under the bus. So Shannon threw you under the bus. They both did, I guess. So like, from what though? What, what? All right. So basically, what happens is Bronwyn starts taking shots at me about my condo, saying like she can never live like that because it's like a 1,700 square foot home. But then I hear that Shannon is piping in about it, saying that you saw my house and you found it sad and depressing. That's what she said. And I know Braun was on a liar. It hurts my feelings yeah, I, I to think that it. like someone would yeah. walk in my home and describe it as that. Don't bring me nine lemons in a bowl and then leave and drop that. Shit. I expect it from Bronwyn, but it took Shannon and I a long time to establish a relationship. When it comes to you, like, I promise you, like, I'm just trying to be a friend. But when we did, I felt like it was authentic. Gina. Look at these shirts. Yeah, yeah. We'll do my two no. and her outfit. No. I like how they like want to so take care of me. <laughs> I mean, if if Shannon Bador is saying things like that, then to me, she's not my friend.